So today I wanted to show you how I do an at-home manicure. Whenever people see my nails, they're almost like, oh my gosh, your nails look really good. And I'm always like, well, I just do them by myself. That just gets people so inquisitive. So today I wanted to do the video of how I do a perfect at-home gel manicure. When I'm doing my own nails, I'm able to get the exact results that I want. So I think it's great, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it yourself and how you can get a cute looking manicure all through the year. Okay, so first off, I wanna tell you that I've had this manicure that I did myself for roughly two weeks. As you can see, it's not chipping. My nails just simply grew out, got a little longer, so I'm going to trim my nails, make them a little shorter, and maybe keep the same color or switch it up. What you will need to do your own at-home manicure, you'll need a glass bowl, acetone. I got mine from Walgreens, you can get it on Amazon. I'm gonna link it below, it has to be 100%. A base coat, a color of your choice, and a top coat. A super rough nail file, a regular nail file, a cuticle trimmer, and one of these tools. I think they are used like, they're called cuticle something tools. I don't know what they're called, but you're gonna need one of these. I'm gonna link all of these below. Oh, and I almost forgot the most important thing. You're going to need one of these lamps. Mine is a UV LED light. I've tested and tried a bunch. This one has just been amazing. It's forever my baby. It's by Sun UV. I'll link it below as well. Okay, so let's get into the process. I'm so excited. First step, we're going to take a nail file. Um, it's 180 grit, and I'm going to file each nail. This is so sad because I love this manicure, but we're gonna file each nail. I'm going to flip the angle of the camera so you can see kind of what I'm doing a little better. Okay, so this is what they look like now. I've kind of filed them as you can see. In some places you can see my nail coming through. Um, this is not acrylic, it's not an overlay, it's just literally gel polish. So I just filed them a little bit. Okay, see? So I put the instant cuticle remover on and I'm gonna use this tool to push back my cuticles and this to trim them. All right, so we're making great progress. So far, this is what my nails look like. I filed them, cleaned my cuticles, and made them a little shorter because my natural nails grow really, really fast. And then uh, we're gonna use the glass bowl. This is where it comes in handy. And I'm just gonna put some acetone in and then dip my fingernails in and let it soak for like five-ish minutes. I start off with like two minutes and then um, I switch nails. I see how far the progress is on. Basically, I just wanna have my gel polish lift away. So I'm not actually aggressively um, filing my nail. It's just gonna kind of naturally just fall off. So I just do this side for two, this side for two, see the progress, then do two more, two more, one more, one more, and keep going like that till it's all done. Well, obviously don't keep going like that because if, you, if after five minutes it's not coming off at all, then you probably should file it a little longer. Okay, so now my nails are buffed and they're ready to be painted. They don't look great after they've been buffed for obvious reasons, but this is the tip for making them last so long. I just applied the nail dehydrator. Next up, apply the nail primer. All right, so next step is the base coat. I'm using the Stay Strong by OPI. And then I'm using Bubble Bath and then I couldn't bear less. Two coats of this, one coat of this. Let's do it. All right, so for the last step, the top coat. And now, put it in here. 
Alrighty, so I finished my at-home manicure. It is such a nice look. It's the Hailey Bieber Glaze Donut look. I'm traveling tomorrow, so this has been pretty hectic showing you guys, but really wanted to film this to show you that it's possible to do an affordable at-home manicure that lasts longer than two weeks. This is a two coats of bubble bath, a coat of I barely care less, and a top coat. I love the OPI top coat so much. It is so glossy, the finish. So uh, that's it. Please leave your questions below. Any comments, any tips would be absolutely helpful. I know I've gotten the tip before that when you're using a UV light, UV LED light, you should use sunblock on your hands. If you feel like your complexion's like me and you want me to recommend some more shades, whether you do it at home or in the salon, comment below. I've listed and linked everything below. See you next week. Mwah.